there comes a point where you have to be okay with what you do. As a woman, you have to be okay with the fact you play football. And in a younger age, I wasn't okay with it. I wasn't comfortable with it, even though I was, I was good. I was the only girl in the school team up until about 11, 12. I actually thought it was quite cool. I mean, all the lads in the team thought it was cool too. It was something that was like, oh yeah, she's in. She can play, she's in. But it was only until I got to tournaments that it became an issue. Coaches would say, oh no, you can't have a girl playing. Well, where's the rules that say girls can play? And that's why I think I had issues, I think, with just accepting the fact that I was a good footballer. And I used to say I played tennis instead because there was Venus and Serena Williams that people thought, oh, they were great. So you, you tend to say, all right, OK, I'm like them, so people can clap you up. I had one particular coach who, just before I went out to America, said I would never make it. Those things do stick in your mind as much as you might pretend like it doesn't. Those things are hurtful and those things do drive you on. I got into the All-Star team twice, two years running, and came back a better player. So they obviously never stopped me. <laughs> I feel really blessed. Everything that's good in my life has come from sport, really. It's come from football. And had I not been encouraged to do it as a girl growing up, you know, I might have gone down another route. You know, I believe in this team and I believe that we've got the talent in the team to do well. I'm not afraid to say we want to win. I'm not afraid to say that. I think that's the whole point. We've got to make sure that at critical times in that tournament, we're successful. Um, and I believe we can do that.